This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. We got Blue from Pretty Ricky. He comes home early. He got two years, only did a year. You know, I guess he got off on good behavior, probably did some programs to get out. I'm sure he'll serve the last remainder of his sentence, like probationary, and, you know, we'll see what happens with that. But uh, I guess Pretty Ricky's getting back together to do another tour. You know, they're, they're, they're teasing that. Spectacular was teasing that. We'll see what happens with that. Then we got uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, Savage, back at it, dating a 19-year-old now. Uh this guy, you know, once once they turn 25, they're out of there. You know, once you're 25, too old. So this one will last a good five years right here. He's good. He's got a good one right there. But then uh, we got uh, 50 Cent saying, when you have a team like this, it's too hard to lose. I'm so blessed to have worked with the best ever. You can't. Uh, you can rewrite book and rewrite a song, but you can't rewrite history. Three Headed Monster, M. Dre, and 50 Cent. This is the 20th anniversary of that. Then we got Takashi. Annual AA and Takashi used to be best buds. And even when Takashi snitched, Annual AA still talked to Takashi. But as soon as uh, it came out in public, he said, nah, I ain't messing with him anymore. And uh, of course, that created a lot of tension. Takashi talked real spicy. Annual AA talked real spicy. And it resulted in a fight that just happened just now. So this fight's out there whatever they got into it it wasn't annual way it was his brother uh also takashi's been exposing that he's been smashing celebrity girls like rapper girls for about 40 bands and uh this is why they look so lit even when they're not lit excess to tantashion the footage gets leaked to him taking all the money out from the bank to go to buy those motorbikes and after he bought the motorbikes and they saw he paid in cash um, they took his life, which is very sad. Uh, Michael Jackson's estate looking, they're, they're close to selling his catalog between 800 and 900 million dollars for his complete catalog, probably to that hypnosis group that, uh, has been investing in, in different people's catalogs. Then we got, uh, the weekend out, uh, streamed the grammys last night uh 40 million people tuned in to stream him versus stream the grammys is boring anyways the other night you know it's just it's, it is it's it is what it is but people hype it up it's it's not really that interesting you know it's cool it's a little crooked but anyways this is jordan Taylor with jt news